Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Carolyn. Welcome to my channel. Um, as the title reads, I will be giving my review on a lot of new products that I've gotten. <laughs> um, so if you're interested to see my review of these products, feel free to keep watching. Okay, so um, I ordered Alani New. Obviously, Alani is a very popular supplement plan, well, supplement company that a lot of influencers kind of promote. Like, a lot of people promote them. So I'm like, you know, I was looking for a really long time. I was like trying to decide what I wanted to get and like what would be beneficial for me because I am currently doing my own fitness journey, if you will. So um, I needed a protein powder. I was previously using a, like a vegan plant-based chocolate protein that I got up on Amazon. Um, but I recently went back to drinking whey. So I decided to get the Fruity Pebbles. So let me just turn this down a bit. <clears throat> So yes, I got the free pebbles. Whitney Simmons is the one who was like, this is so good, so good, you have to try it, right? So I got it and I, the first time I tried it, I was like, this is weird. Like fruity cereal, like I'm drinking fruity pebbles milk, but without having to have eaten the fruity pebbles. So it was just an interesting taste at first and I was a little like taken aback. Um, even my husband, he tried it and he's like, I don't know if I like it because uh, it's just like such a weird flavor to, when you think about it because you're like, I'm not eating cereal, but this tastes like I've just eaten a bowl of cereal. So yeah, I think it tastes like Fruity Pebbles. Taste wise, I would probably rate it at like a three out of five just because like it's good enough but it's not terrible either like you could easily get sick of this flavor really quickly so taste you have a three um, for the overall like milled process of it it's really like milled very finely which actually creates it it just smells weird too. I'm like slowly working through this. I I got this back in like December, I think, and I've been slowly drinking this. All right, where were we? <clears throat> um, okay, so it says add one scoop to six to eight ounces of water or beverage of your choice and mix thoroughly. I just have a blender bottle and I mix it with water. I never mix this with uh, almond milk just because like I don't really don't think it's I don't think it's necessary because it's not what I'm trying to do I'm trying to lose weight so like water is better all around than mix your protein with so it mixes really well so I, I'd give a five for mixes really well and it's milled very finely so it doesn't get clumpy at all um, overall I really like the ingredients of this uh, because it only has one gram of fat 0.5 grams of saturated fat, 35 milligrams of cholesterol, 2 grams of carbohydrates, and 1 sugar, and then it has 23 grams of protein. So that makes it really nice right after the gym or like when I'm not up to my protein for the day just because I eat generally more plant-based some days and some days I do higher protein. I eat like chicken or turkey. Um, so. Yeah, overall, I would probably give this uh, a rating of a four, just because the flavor is off-putting for me, and I'm slowly going through it. I am definitely interested to see what other flavors have to offer for me, so um, once I'm through this, I might get another one of a different flavor. <laughs> All right, next product, I have the BC BCAAs in Rocket Pop. Now, I haven't used this much. I've used it, but like, 
I wouldn't say it's necessarily a rocket pop, it, a rock pop, like it does taste like it, but, and I didn't really see or feel much different after I would drink it, especially when I would, this was like in the beginning when I started to like really start working out again after like a month off for the month I got married because I was really sore, so I was like, I need some BCAAs, I don't have any. I threw out the other one because that was so old. It was like cherry lime and it was absolutely disgusting. It was like one of those brands that you get from Amazon. And like, I forget what it's called. We're not gonna slam it. It was just disgusting. Um, but yeah, this, um, it's not bad. Um, again, it's milled very finely. I love that about this brand because there's really no clumping. It mixes really well. Um, overall, the flavor, not, see I taste it in my mouth when you ever open your pre-workout or your BCAs and just like you taste it in your mouth all of a sudden you're just like, uh, so much powder just came out getting in my lungs and in my mouth. Ugh. Um, but yeah, this is to mix one level scoop with eight to 10 ounces of water. I usually always do more and I don't necessarily take what they say just because I can kind of figure out my tolerance for the flavor. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it has some really good stuff in it but it's not quite rocket pop flavored. It is, but it isn't at the same time. It's not bad. Overall, I would probably give this a four. Flavor, a three again. I'm not like the most impressed with it. All right, and finally, I actually tried the hair, skin, and nails from Milani New, and it took me a while to get through this just because I would forget about it. Um, <sighs> sorry, it just like says, oh, check out our Balance product. Balance is $50. This is $39.99 for this. Um, for 30 servings, it's quite expensive. Um, and you could take two a day, which it, I think it has helped has 60 capsules, 30 servings. Again, I got this back in December, mid-December, so it's taken me a while to get through this. So, I definitely have noticed my hair has grown quite a bit. You can see I have a lot of root coming in. I'm naturally blonde, so I have to get highlights soon to kind of help mask that in and blend it in with the brown. So I have seen it increase my hair growth. My skin, I wouldn't say is any different than it was. Um, I still get an occasional breakout on my cheeks, which is like primarily right here, which is hormonal acne right here. And maybe I will check out their balance. I hear good things about that. They have great ratings for that. Um, I definitely, did not really see any improvement with my nails. I've taken the Tati Hair, Skin and Nail product and within a month, I definitely saw a difference in my nail growth and my nail beds. They were a lot healthier. Like, yes, my nails look okay. Um, I've been taking this over for about a month, so I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't say it's worth it, honestly. Um, and I'm not trying to be mean. I just don't think it would be worth it to get. Uh, I'm sure you have to take it for multiple months, but I didn't really see a drastic improvement in my hair, skin, and nails within the first month, which you should kind of see based on what the ingredients are. I don't know. I just don't like it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about Alani New. I definitely spent a lot of money. I spent about $100 for three products. And... I'm not, that, I'm not that impressed. So uh, maybe in the future I will get a different protein flavor 
and get a different BCAA flavor. I will use these up until I don't have to. So, all right, time for chocolate. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.